last year on the iCitizen Forum, we've been discussing youth engagement in the political process. On this subject, the College Democrats and the College Republicans are really on the front lines. In this special two-part series for the iCitizen Forum, we spoke to Tanya Chaldori, who is the president of the George Washington University chapter of the College Democrats, and Ethan Elam, who is the executive director of the College Republican National Committee. Tell me about the youth vote, because we, you know, I read in the papers every day that the youth vote is increasing mm -hmm. and it's going to be huge this yeah. year, bigger than ever. And, yeah. and how are you seeing that, like, as somebody who works? Yeah, early? definitely. I mean, I think it's a couple of things. First of all, I think that this generation, as with the past few election cycles, people are just start starting to get it, right? That politics actually affects them, that it makes a difference, that it's going to determine how their jobs or, or what kind of job, or if they're going to get a job, you know, once they get out of college. They're going to determine if, you know, that kid from down the street from their hometown goes to Iraq. It's going to determine, like, all of those things are important to them and they're getting it, you know, and I think that's a function of the national parties on both sides doing a really good job in targeting youth voters because they sort of recognize their power. Um, but I also think it's a function of the candidates changing sort of their tone. Like, I think Barack Obama is the perfect example of this, is that you have a candidate who sort of focused his energy on getting the youth vote because it was such an untapped resource. So when you have candidates trying to get students excited about politics, it makes it a lot easier for us because it's not just us saying, oh no, they really care about you. You have a candidate saying, yes, I care about you. What changes do you think national parties will have to adopt? and connect better with young people. Definitely. I mean, I um, I can only speak, I guess, from the Democratic point of view and tell you, I think, what I've heard for the College Republicans. But one of the great things I think that Howard Dean specifically has done, and I think Terry McAuliffe did before him, was put so much energy and put so many resources into an organization like College Democrats of America. Like, you have a guy who <laughs> knows and understands clearly, like, why youth are so important. Like, that was what sort of drove his campaign in 2004. And so because he sort of gives sort of the vote of confidence to College Democrats of America, and so he's willing to, like, donate or, or like, designate a significant amount of resources to this cause, you know, to put a whole team in there that just focuses on just youth voting. So I think that that is sort of what's giving me the most confidence is that you have somebody who understands how influential youth can be in this whole process. And so those people who aren't that interested, what do you think is the best way or what have you found successful ways of getting them interested in politics? Um, well, like I said, I think the first the first thing that you have to do is make them feel like there's a community for them. The most awkward thing for a college student is to walk into a room where everyone knows each other, everyone is very exclusive and clicky, that, that's very uncomfortable for any student. So what we do is we try to create an environment at all the events um, that we do to where people feel really welcomed and they understand that just because like we may have worked together in the past, like this group of college students has been involved in College Gems, it doesn't mean that new people can't get involved at every single thing we do and then you make you have to make them want to come to the events so for example we'll bring in high profile speakers that would be interesting and where college students really wouldn't get an opportunity to see them through any other forum except for something like college democrats so it's sort of sparking that interest and once you spark that interest and get them to the events making them feel like they can stay and not only stay they can come back over and over again so yeah. And how are you using new media techniques and so on? Is that becoming a big part of what you do? Oh, absolutely. I mean, college students connect through Facebook and email. <laughs> and I mean, we find that word of mouth is often the best way to get our events publicized, to get our messages across. But it has to start somewhere. And like I know I see in class, like people spend hours and hours on Facebook every day. So, for example, we'll create Facebook events to advertise our, you know, events that are going on on campus. We have our College Democrats Facebook group that we use to, you know, get messages across to our um, entire membership. So, yeah, I mean, I would say Facebook and our email listserv are probably the best ways that we have to connecting with our students. Mm -hmm.